Hello and welcome to my Blender 2.6.1 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to take a mesh character and BVH motion capture file and sync them together to make your mesh character move around and do cool stuff. So let's get started. I'm going to bring in my mesh character. Right here I got this bad boy off blendswap.com. I'll add a link. Cool site. Got lots of resources. Next, I'm going to import my motion capture file. Got this off of another site. Uh, don't remember the name, but find it and add a link for you. This is just a nice little motion file of some bones walking around. Alright, let's take these bones, which are super huge. Scale them down with S. Okay, and then grab it, G, scale it with S, there's a G to grab, I'm just getting them to a workable size, that looks pretty good. Alright, so, now, let's make sure that our bones are selected, this is very important, everybody listening, go to your edit mode to do this next step, alright? We're going to want to match the bone placement with the character, basically putting the bones inside of him. I just hit A, select them all, G to grab, and left click to stick them there. I think I've tr I tried, um, let me hit 7 on the num key to get the aerial view. I tried to um, put match the bones with the mesh in object mode before and then sync them. That does not work at all. You have to do it in edit mode. Let's to size down a little bit more. Grab, slide it down. Now I'm not going to get this thing perfect because this is just a tutorial to kind of give you guys an idea of how to do it. You know, if I was being more precise more perfect with the guy, I'd match a little bit better. Um, also, another one other thing to note, um, there are several different rest positions um, that you'll find these bones come in, and then also the mesh characters come in. Sometimes they're not the same, that's that was the case for this one, this mesh character. Um, I needed a good bit of deforming so that it matched the bones when they were in rest mode in the edit mode um, because you really really don't want to move these bones out of place you want to leave them where they lie um, as they're resting when you find them in the edit mode um, I've tried moving them around before to make them fit my mesh character and that caused nothing but problems so you want to change the mesh to match the bones rather than the other way around um, and you definitely want the bones to basically sit inside the mesh character you want, you want them to be a, a fairly decent match um, in order for this thing to work out right so that's good enough for now let's jump back into our object mode the bones jumped over there oh no Guess what? It's okay. Don't freak out. It's part of the process. Select your mesh. Hold down shift. Oops. Don't select the light. Select the mesh. Select the bones. And you're going to press control P. You get this little menu. And then drop down here. Armature to form with automatic weights. Select that. And look at there character jumps to the bones. Alright, now let's select only the character and see how the motion playback looks. Ooh, it is a little bit slow, isn't it? That's going to be a problem. Unless we're trying to do like a super awesome slow-mo scene down a hallway. We're going to need our guy to walk a little faster. So going to need to select the bones, make sure our, the playhead on the timeline is at zero. Um, if you haven't already selected your dope sheet, 
go there. I already had it pulled up. Um, also, make sure you are in the action editor. Okay, now this particular motion capture file has its keyframes spaced out too far apart. We're going to need to bring them together. So, the way we do that, hit S, which is going to resize this little chunk of keyframes. And we're going to bring that in. Bring it into about, I don't know, 100 or so. That'll probably do the trick. Okay. Now, do you select everything? Select only the mesh. That helps with the playback. If you select the bones for playback and your computer is as slow as mine is, it will be all jerky and stuff. All right. Let's look. There we go. Now, that looks pretty good. I like how that walking sequence is looking. Um, so there you have it. Um, simple tutorial on how to match motion capture with mesh. See ya!